This is Irish Bear 76. Uh, this is part two of a continuation on my talk about CCSVI and uh, just some of the thoughts um, that I, I have on it right now. Um, as I've said to recap, uh, Dr. Zamboni's research is going to be definitely it's not going to be accepted by uh, neurology. Um, neurologists are very selfish. <laughs> if, MS has been their disease, you know, so that, I don't think that they're going to want to relinquish a lot of control, but um, the really prudent neurologists, the really do-no-harm Hippocratic types will obviously share information with cardiovascular specialists and, and be open to it. Um, they, you know, them saying don't get too excited about it, that's one thing. Um, downplaying Dr. Zamboni's research is another. One um, MS researcher had said, well, maybe you should recreate this in mice, tie off some of their blood vessels and see if they develop MS. And I thought Dr. Zamboni said something really funny at this point. He said, I'm not, I don't work with mice. <laughs> I thought that was great. Yeah, you go ahead and you play with your mice and recreate this while I go off and uh, heal people. I thought that was uh, pretty funny. And he's right. I mean, he's obviously done it on human beings, his wife being included. Um, a lot of it is, you know, testimonials and anecdotal information. But hell, if it works, it works. You know, whether you're you're coming out with a peer-reviewed article, um, obviously science, the scientific theory, you're going to have to do, you know, a hypothesis, then a, a demonstration, experiment, and get the result and collect that data. But, I mean, he's he, he's already shown that what he's doing is 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 not if if it doesn't cure it it's at the very least going to uh, deter disability so let's not uh, you know, sit around uh, downplaying his his research just because he's obviously um, hit the nail on the head when you can't even find the hammer um, but if you think about it, I mean and think about this in your own in your own uh, MS societies and you know groups like Wayne with MS Village Canada, which I tried to get into, and because I'm a U.S. citizen, they, they didn't, I couldn't put in my provinces and stuff right, so I couldn't become a member. But anyway, um, with this, uh, with these groups, you talk to people like they were talking about Tomato Head on Maria's. A lot of times, anecdotal information can can really help, like. Um, <sighs> I have found a lot of people telling, you know, telling me things that they do with their diet, with this herbal supplement or that one, and I don't know why, but it's helping. Like melatonin has really helped me with uh, sleep, and you're not supposed to take it if you have an autoimmune disease, but it's a very powerful antioxidant, and when it gets up in your brain, it has to go there because it works on the hormone. Melatonin uh, works on the hormone caused or secreted by the pineal gland, so it's going to cross the blood-brain barrier. Um, and I've found a lot, melatonin, ginkgo biloba, um, I have switched to, ironically, I've switched to uh, aspirin. Um, I take tramadol for back pain, and it works on serotonin and norepinephrine, which somehow um, I think helps with some perfusion issues because it uh, triggers some of the sympathetic, or uh, yeah, the sympathetic nervous system. Anyway, to make a long story short, little things that we do on a daily basis that, that like caffeine, coffee, uh, craving coffee and drinking coffee is supposed to be helpful. It's a powerful antioxidant. It also um, helps uh, speed up uh, your uh, your uh, sympathetic nervous system. Anyway, to make a long story short, these little anecdotal things that, that we talk about, a lot of it fits, and, um, and that's where I'm really coming from. That's where my research is really going, is I'm looking at iron and the role it plays in the blood. I'm looking at vitamin D in the role it plays in the blood and in the cardiovascular system. And the really cool thing that I found that neurology is missed, I've missed, anyone who's looked at this has missed, is uh, how just how important the cardiovascular system is to this disease. Because it was right in front of our face. Things that lead to risk for cardiovascular are also stressors on MS. Stress, heat, um, vitamin D, uh, sleep apnea, family history, smoking, everything that they tell you with MS, hey, this is going to make the, the course of your disease more severe. The MS diet that so many people were using and saying, man, my life's been turned around. Guess what? They were lowering their cholesterol. They were eating right.
okay? They were helping their heart work better. Um, the heart wasn't having to work so hard to move the blood. Therefore, the stricture that they would have, although it would impede the flow of blood, they are doing everything they humanly can to help that blood flow. So it only makes sense that they would be better. Um, I, I'm hearing these reports of people having you know, neck work done uh, from chiropractors, and all of a sudden they get worse. This is common. There was this one guy that I totally thought was a quack that said he got back surgery because I'm not in favor of surgery. So this should tell you, with me saying Zamboni's uh, surgery is important, I'm always saying no surgery. But this guy, he had it wrong, but he kind of had an idea. He was saying the alignment in your back was wrong and it was causing the CSF, which in my mind, I'm like, no, not just the cerebrospinal fluid is not going to cause that problem. It's all about blood. Okay, so this guy's saying once he got this surgery, the surgery didn't correct the CSF flow, the cerebral spinal fluid in his spinal column. But what it probably did do when he had that was move the veins around, okay, to where there was no impedance in blood flow. And that made me, he went from a quack to someone pointing the way to the truth overnight with this research. Um, okay, I've gotten long-winded. I'm really too excited about this to continue to talk, but um, I just wanted to cover some some points there um, that I feel are, are apropos, pertinent. And um, trust me, I, I'm going to keep looking. I'm going to take every bit of medical uh, background that I have and and I'm going to uh, keep looking because it's not all inclusive. Okay, cardiovascular is involved, neurology is involved, um, lifestyle behaviors are involved, um, everything. Um, free radicals, free radicals are involved. Everything that we, everything that, that that our previous knowledge of MS is still appropriate because it does trigger the autoimmune. The whole thing is though, if we can stop the blockage from from regurgitating that blood, then we don't have the autoimmune process that's going to be triggered because there's not going to be iron deposits and all the stuff that's in the iron that, that triggers the immune system to attack. So that's my uh, follow-up video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to continue to email me. I've gotten a lot of responses. I've met a lot of new friends. Um, and uh, I love you guys. So you guys have a, the best weekend you possibly can have. And God bless you. Bye.